Dress up your dining table with a little bit of love in the form of this handmade Valentine's runner. It's the only touch we say that you need to bring a splash of that red and white holiday to your home. Chris Thurgood says the applique technique used to make this project, it's easier than you might think, and she has an additional cheat for us yes. on the sewer side of the street. Yes. This calls for a prairie point. A prairie point and some applique work on this table runner. Which to me just sounds, I mean like, <laughs> it's another advanced language. chemistry. Nah, yeah, exactly. Nah. It is so simple. It is really easy and it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to use fabric that you already have at home or go out to the fabric store and buy some I was going to say, looking yeah. at some of this fabric, let's use it as an excuse to purchase exactly, new. The reds exactly. and the pinks are so vibrant mm -hmm. and I think after, you know, this winter January yes, blah, yes. we need a little jolt of we're, color. We're ready for a little we're brightness and, yeah. and something different. So, so you just yes. to do so this, this Chris. is the Valentine table runner. We have a free pattern for everyone. Nice. And so I wanted to go over a couple key points with this pattern. First of all, when you download the pattern, you will have applique drawings mm -hmm. that look just like this. Okay. So let me show you basically how to do a basic applique. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to use is a product called Heat and Bond uh, Light, and this is a fusible applique. There's a bumpy side to it, which is the glue side, mm -hmm. and then there's a paper side. So I'm going to take this right here, and I'm just going to trace one object at a time. So right now I'm just tracing the heart. Okay, just like Good that. Good tracing skills. Woo, A plus. That was kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have the heart. And then what I need to do is take my iron and I'm going to uh, press it against the wrong side of a piece of fabric. Now, okay. you gotta love polka dot, right? Always. Yes. Except so. for I refuse to wear it when I'm pregnant because I already feel uh, like a big polka dot. That's one of my maternity I, I totally rules. <laughs> no polka dots. Okay. <laughs> I would say that in stripes, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take the heart and we're just going to lay it on the back side of the fabric. Make so sure you do that. Bumpy back, side to back side. Bumpy side to back side, exactly. And then I'm gonna take an iron and I'm gonna press it for just a few seconds, actually. Okay. And it it's going to come out like this. I love okay. when she has this in steps. I wish sewing and projects in general were oh, this oh, easy I do too. stepped out for us. <laughs> That's right. So the magic of television, right? And so you've got um, this already adhered to it. And so now I can take my scissors and I'm going to cut directly on the line. Okay. Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. And I'll cut the entire thing out. May I? Oh, May I cut sure. while you keep talking? I'm impressed. Well, right. you know, <laughs> let me help where I can. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay. So what ends up happening is we have this really cute little heart. It's got a paper side. Even notice you've got the blue on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off just like that. Okay. And now it's ready to be adhered to my background piece. Okay. So let's say I was doing the block in this table runner. Mm -hmm. And I have a background that might look like this. Mm -hmm. I've already done the applique on this one. This is fabric. Okay. No way. Yes. Look so how cute. cute that is. You got to love the text print. <gasps> yes. Very, very popular right now. So if I peel that off uh -huh. as well, uh -huh. I can put it right there, put this on top. Take my iron, press it, and voila. Here it is. Here we go. Here's your finished adorable. piece. Adorable, yes. Really easy, right? All the hard eyes right here, all the love. Exactly. This is adorable. That's exactly right. So this is your, your basic applique. Very simple to do, anyone can do this. And then I would just take it to my sewing machine and stitch around it so that it stays put mm -hmm. uh, forever. Okay, now okay. to the prairie points. All right, now to the prairie points. This is really a fun technique because traditionally prairie points, as you see in this table runner, will you'd have to cut each square one by one. Mm -hmm. You'd have to fold it individually. You'd have to evenly space it, and it's one big headache. And so a lot of, people, of time involved. A lot of time involved, and a lot of people love the look of prairie points, but they hate how much work it takes. Right. So here's a really simple way. What I'm going to do. This is a very um, small. Uh, dem demo here just to show but however long your quilt was or whatever you were working on is how long you would cut your fabric. So length could be extended. Exactly. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply fold it in half uh -huh. so that I have a line here. Now this width is eight inches. Okay so I'm going to measure every four inches I with joke my about ruler. advanced chemistry, but this really is advanced <laughs> math when you that's get into right. the addition of it all. Oh, I'll tell you, it's so fun. Okay, we'll do that on that side, but we only go up to the line. We're gonna turn it around, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Notice, though, that my lines are- They're staggered. Staggered, exactly. 
Okay. So once I've done that, I would normally do it all the way down the, the uh -huh, length. The extension okay. of your fabric. And I would keep on going. Okay. So now I come to the part where what do you need? scissors. scissors. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to let you cut this again. Well, yeah. I, since I've proved <laughs> my worth, exactly. what do I cut? All right. You're just going to cut on the line. Halfway up? On the line. Halfway up. Okay. You're going to stop at the fold. Okay. Okay. So you, what you would do is you'd keep uh, cutting on those lines. Okay. Now I'm going to save you here because I've got a step already oh, stop. done. You didn't even need me. You <laughs> acted right. like you needed me. I was just <laughs> a useless so there. show pony. Okay. That's right. So here we go. Notice that you had a little piece hanging from each side that wasn't four inches. So right. I would just cut that off. Okay. okay. Now this is the beauty of what's what we call the continuous prairie points. Okay. okay? This is continuous prairie points. I'm ready. It sounds what exciting. I'm, what I'm going to do, this looks awfully strange, <laughs> but... You're about to do a magic trick, are you? <laughs> it feels like Don't it. blink. Don't That's breathe. Right. Here it comes. I'm going to finger press this over. Okay. And I'm going to fold corner to corner there. Okay. okay. I have one prairie point. Now I'm going to take the opposite side, go Go over like that. Uh -huh. Now, woo, I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to bring it this is. down over top. I see two prairie points okay. in front of my eyes. Now I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to go right there. I'm going to fold it again in half and I'm going to go up here and go from top to bottom. Pull this up. And it will lay flat even with all that bulk yes, in those folds? Yes. As long as I put um, a little bit of starch or something on there, uh -huh. it's going to lay nice and flat. And then just to secure it yes. before I put it onto my sewing machine, yes. there I go. I'll just put some pins in it. Look how nice that is. Beautiful. It's, it's evenly spaced. Uh -huh. I didn't have to cut out all these different squares by themselves. Right. And um, it was really, went together really slick. Okay. So you would pin it and then what I would do is I'd take to my sewing machine and just sew right down just to hold it all in place uh -huh. and now I have these big long strips of prairie points Fun. and I can add it to whatever project you I want. You can see how beautiful yes. the finishing touch they add there yes. on the borders on the outer edge and we need to emphasize you kind of skimmed over it. Free pattern. Free pattern. Thank you for exactly. that. For this yeah. beautiful table runner how do we access that? Um, just go to our website at mygirlfriendsquiltshop.com You want this pattern. You need this project in That's your life, right. in your home so we'll link you over to my girlfriend's quilt shop website from our studio5.ksl Com. For the first time, I'll say happy Valentine's Day. Right. Not too soon, right? No, not We're too in preparation soon. mode. Chris, <laughs> exactly. thank you. You bet.